I got Mr. Jared Barrick from the USAG Humphreys Family and MWR CYSS Youth Services. I'm here. Yes, yes I am. It I was a very you, cold road to get here, but I, I am here. I, you know, um, I keep reading the weather and saying that it feels like eight degrees. Can you confirm or deny that feels like temperature? Jared? I would rather read the weather than feel <laughs> the weather. So I'll confirm that for you. Absolutely. So Jared is here going to talk to us about a, a couple of new things starting up. Yeah, we got some new programs coming up for the new year. So new things to do with the kids. Awesome. So that is all coming up right here on AFN OS on the Eagle. Stay tuned. Hanging out with me, I got a Jared from the Camp Humphreys CYSS, um, and you guys are coming up with a bunch of new things for the new year. Lots of uh, new programs for the kids, and one of these sounds like it's going to be a, a, a great place to let the kids kind of express themselves artistically. Tell us about this open mic night, Jared. Yeah, absolutely. One of the first things we're planning for the new year and we're really excited about is what you just said is the open mic night. Um, we got a great opportunity because we're in such a small facility, but we're supported by uh, our friends at MWR that have so much going on. Um, at our Flightline Bar and Grill, they just uh, contracted a new band that's been playing. Oh, cool. And so they had the stage all hooked up. They have microphones, amplifiers, lights, everything we need. And uh, on Tuesday afternoons, they're going to let us, the teen center, utilize the facility all to ourselves, um, utilize the stage, and we're going to have what we call an open mic night. So we're calling out everybody right now. If you're a youth in 6th or 12th grade with some musical talents, or even if you don't have any musical talents, come on over. It's open mic night. Um, you have instruments. You can bring them in. We can plug in your guitars. Um, we're going to be there every Tuesday from 4.30 until 6 p.m., and that's at the Flightline Bar and Grill, which is really close to our youth center, um, so the kids can just walk right across the street and we'll be there. Um, and it's after school, and we have a bus that picks the kids up after school so they can come to the youth center. We'll feed them, and then we'll take them on over, and we can get uh, some rock and roll going on, whatever they want to sing. I don't know. Absolutely. And uh, when does this actually kick off? When's going to be the first open mic night? Uh, first open mic night, grand opening, January 6th. And again, that's January 6th, Tuesday from 4.30 to 6 p.m. And now, is this something that like some of the youth came to you and they're like, we want to be rock stars, Mr. Jared, make it happen? We do have a good population of young talent. Um, we see them at all the events that we do. They come up on stage and they get their opportunities to sing and, and do that kind of stuff. So it is that group of people that wants to do it, but also we want to bring others in. So they want to have that opportunity opportunity to not only show off their talents, but maybe share and teach some others so we can get some kind of instructions and things going on like that. Bring some people together that maybe not wouldn't come together so often. Absolutely. So uh, if there are any youth out there, grade 6 through 12, you ever wanted to start a band, here is your sign. We're giving you an opportunity right here, exactly. right now. Exactly. Teen Open Mic Night starting at the Flightline Bar Grill. It's going to be every Tuesday evening from 4.30 to 6, starting on January 6. Stay tuned. All What's up, we're Hot Shell Ray. And you're watching YCTV. Perfect. There we go. Yeah. That easy. Nailed it. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Well, I think Jared would maybe argue that a little bit. Uh, more than a little bit. <laughs> It's beautiful. It's just cold. It's freezing. I can't take it. <laughs> uh, that's why uh, you need to get inside, find yourself a cool place to kind of hole up. And that's what uh, the Cyber Cafe over there for the teens is all about. Now, I'm pretty sure we talked about this a couple of months ago, Jared. We did. We did. We, okay. we got a new space uh, in August and we were able to open it up. Uh, we call it a soft opening, I guess. <laughs> uh, and it's this place just for high school students to go. And that's something they've been asking for for a long time. Get away from the middle schoolers. So it's just for ninth through 12th graders. And it's called our Teen Cyber cafe. Well, over the last few months, we've been able to build it up. We've been able to uh, get more equipment in there. Um, we got everything that we want in there. So we decided to go ahead and have a grand reopening I love for it. the new year. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do that on January 15th. And it's going to be from 5 to 8 p.m. So we're calling it the grand reopening of our teen cyber cafe. And it's it's so hooked up in there. They got 
Xbox Ones, we got PS4s, there's free Wi-Fi, we have Keurig coffee, we have three Alienware gaming computers, um, and all the stuff is fully hooked up now. It wasn't before. We have all the games on the computers now. We have all the brand new games for the Xboxes and the Playstations. Um, so we're going to do little video game tournaments. Um, we're going to have pizza, drinks, snacks, uh, just to make teens aware that this place is available for them. Um, let them know that we're there every day. We're there from 4 to 8 every day, um, right after school, so they can hop on the bus, and it's our teen cyber cafe. Absolutely. I remember, um, you know, during the summer, we had a bunch of the teens come over and uh, kind of host this show. And they were in here brainstorming all the things that they wanted. And like, we want chargers, we want a coffee machine, like all of these. And different you know things. what, at this point, they got them all. And, and that's great. We had those kids were really excited about it. And their input um, was really what made this happen. Um, so anytime we can get ideas from the kids, and they want to come to us and let us know, we make stuff happen for them, but we need to know what they want. Um, and they did, we got all the phone chargers in there, we got all the games in there we got the wi-fi we got the couches we got the beanbag chairs oh, um, and we got a little paint job that's coming up here in a couple weeks uh the group of kids are going to come in we're going to do a mural on one of the walls and that's oh, going to be sweet. one of our grand openings to show the mural that got painted at the teen cyber cafe very cool so the teen cyber cafe is open any time that the youth center is open the teen yes, center yes. okay very cool. So the grand reopening event for the Teen Cyber Cafe coming up on Thursday, January 15th. Lots of stuff to check out over there. Stay tuned. We'll have more with Jared coming up next. Jared Barrick from the Humphreys CYSS and talking about all the amazing things that they have planned for after the beginning of the year, after the new year in 2015. And um, one of them is a field trip that is going to be coming up in January. And I'm not sure that I'm very familiar with where you guys are taking this field trip to. Tell me about the 63 building. Yes, ma'am. We're going to the 63 building. It's uh, downtown Seoul. Uh, we're okay. going to go on Saturday, January 24th um, from 9 to 5. Um, and what is this? One of the tallest uh, skyscrapers um, in Seoul. Oh, Not the cool. tallest, one of the tallest. But, oh, that's awesome. Uh, the best part of it is they have a sky lounge up at the 63rd floor. Oh, actually, it might be the 62nd floor. I may have missed that. But it's up there at the top. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of cool. They have a uh, usually an art gallery and the different themes. Usually they change it up every two or three months of uh, you know, photographs or art or stuff going on. Uh, but the cool part is it's all glass so you can walk around mm -hmm. and see the entire city from from the top of the building so there's some good pictures and stuff we can take and it's a really neat uh, big tourist attraction one of the must-see places uh, for anybody who's in Seoul so we're gonna take the kids down there um, also a lot of cool stuff within the whole building is they have a wax museum um, an IMAX theater that shows uh, you know 30 or 45 minute uh, movies oh, cool. uh, again different themes every couple months the last time I was there I think they were showing something about penguins yeah uh, so yeah it's pretty cool Why not? Stuff. Uh, and and uh, they have restaurants and food courts and things like that so uh, the kids can bring their own Korean wine and try Korean food if they want they have Western food as well so tons of different stuff they can choose from for lunch um, but it's really a neat experience um, a good opportunity to go to downtown Seoul um, in a supervised environment with the teen center um, see the whole city from the top of the building and they do some fun stuff uh, within the actual establishment so it's a really great opportunity for the kids to to jump on board with us um, again it's on Saturday January 24th um, there is a $15 registration fee uh, for this trip and that just covers the transportation um, and covers all their tickets so for the wax museum the IMAX theaters uh, we see by us will pay for all that. 